Okay, I will not be able to Zoom with you guys today, as I said in the announcement. So my um, son is sick, and so I have to stay home with him today. Um, so what you guys are going to do is click on the at homework for day two. And actually, I lied. Let's look at this one first. So today, it's Wednesday for me. Um, today is Veterans Day. And so I just wanted to show you guys this slide. I'm not going to go all the way through it. There's no assignment associated with it. But I just kind of wanted to touch on this a little bit. Um, my husband, Cody English, he teaches um, world geography in the freshman wing, and then he'll be teaching world history. We made this slideshow of um, Stevens High School um, graduates that went on to serve in the military. The first two slides were two um, individuals that had passed away while they're serving. The rest of these slides, again, are all graduates of Stevens High School. So I think it's important for you guys to see this because I, I know when I was in high school, I thought that a veteran was the really old guy with the Vietnam War veteran hat on. And it didn't really occur to me that veterans are anyone that has served and that a veteran can be 24 years old. Um, so we reached out to other Stevens High graduates and was or we were looking for anyone that is a veteran. And so we were able to collect information on them and go through this process. Um, if you guys know any veterans that were not included on this list that went to Stevens High School, um, you can have them contact me or contact Mr. English and we'll get them on the slideshow for next year. Um, so this is not an assignment. This is not something that you guys have to watch. It's just something that if you guys want to um, and look at the information, see if you know any of them. Some of them re graduated recently. Um, so you guys can look through this. Again, it's not required and it's not an assignment. Okay. Um, I'm going to go through the directions for the coil pot. So today, I need you guys to watch basic coil construction. I'll show you where that is. You're going to do that on your own. It's a video that talks to you about how to make your coil pot. Then you're going to look at the slide for decorative coils. I'll talk to you about that as well. I want you guys working on your coil pot for about 70 minutes. I have had all my blue classes do this, so I know exactly what it looks like when kids have worked for 70 minutes. I don't want you guys doing this for 10 minutes and then leaving it. So the requirements for this is that you have a slab base. It needs to be four to six inches in height. If you reach that height before the end of the 70 minutes, continue building and adding decorative coils. The inside needs to be smoothed out or unexposed, and the outside needs to be decorative and exposed. Um, you can keep your coil pot when you finish to bring it in to be fired when we return to school, but you do not have to. Okay? Um, I'm going to go on to the video. I'm not going to show you the video in this Zoom, but I am going to show you where it is and a finished product. So I'm going to zip through this. I'm just going to turn the sound off. I'm going to go to the end. So this video, this video will take you through, um, I'm going to try to get to the end here, take you through how to construct the basic ring, how to add a spiral on there. But I don't want you guys just to stop when you get to this point. I want a freeze frame here. There we go. Okay, so I talk you through how to add this first ring, how to add the spiral on here, but I want you to continue building it. This is not all that you do. You continue building it till it's about four to six inches tall. If you have questions, you can send me a message in my inbox. I will be checking it throughout the day, but it won't be a minute to minute. Because like I said, my kid is homesick and I don't know how sick he's going to be. Um, once you finish watching the video, you work with your clay. We prepped it on the last block, so you guys should have that ready to go. If you're not knowing what kind of decorative coils to make besides a spiral, here's a list you guys can look at and create within your coil pot. So if you say, I, I did everything, I finished it in 10 minutes, well, did you do every single one of these decorative coils? It is not required that you do all of these, but if you finish early, Try these. The purpose of this is to learn how to do coil construction and to also figure out what type of coils you want to put in your final next week. You'll turn in two photos of your coil pot practice, one of the outside of your pot and one on the inside of your pot. And you turn that in here. When we're looking at Friday, I'm going to move past this because you guys aren't absent. When we're looking at Friday's assignment, we have Hannah's critique video. Hannah is the one that created the monster sculpture. So she made a critique for us. She critiqued her own artwork here. And it's really cool because she shows the different steps she went through and she has photos for it as well. So you listen to her video. You take the quiz that goes along with her video. You have multiple attempts on that if you need to rewatch it. Last thing you do on Friday. 
um, I want you guys to think about things that will help you on Canvas. So I might be changing a couple things up depending on how you guys feel it's working in level three. I don't know how long we're going to be in level three, um, but odds are we're going to be in it at some point before the end of the year. So there's always something I can fix. So I want you to think about one thing you don't want me to change about this class. One thing you like about it, and if I was going to rearrange things, you want to make sure that it's kept. Second thing, one thing you do want me to change about how this class is run on Canvas. I've had kids say, oh, Mr. So-and-so does this and it's so cool. Okay, well, I, if I don't know something exists, I can't make it work for you. So let me know if there's something that I can change to make this process better for you on Canvas. Keep in mind there are some things that are out of my control. I've had kids ask if we could stop Zooming. Um, I have to Zoom with you guys for at least 15 minutes. When we're working on our clay projects, which is what we're going to be doing, um, obviously this class period and all of next week, I will be Zooming with you guys for the full class period while you're working on that. Um, that way I'm here to help you throughout the entire thing. Um, so yes, finish this for Friday. So again, when you guys are working on your coil pots, I'm going to go back to the module. Because I always have kids say, where do I turn it in? So always go to the module for my class. Don't click on assignments. I purposely don't put instructions in the assignments because you guys don't go through the module if I do that. So you click and read the directions here. Watch your basic coil construction video, decorative coil, picture for reference, and turn in your coil pot practice here. Friday, watch the video on Hannah's critique, take the quiz, and answer my two questions. If you guys have any questions, just send me a message in Canvas.